Hi guys, it's Tom, and today I'm doing my Lush skincare routine. So, um, yeah, I'm sure a lot of you, like, a lot of people are interested in, like, Lush skincare products and, like, routines and, like, how I keep my face from getting acne and stuff. Um, but basically, I'm going to show you today. So, the products I'm going to be using today are the Mask and Magna Minty which is like a staple for this routine then the other staple is let the good times roll facial cleanser then i also have i also have my face moisturizer this is only a sample because i haven't really decided whether i want it or not and then i also have rub 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 and um, body scrub the reason I'm using um, Rub 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 for my face is because I ran out of ocean salt because I have tried to make this video like two other times and then I've like ran out of storage or it's randomly deleted so let's just hope that this one works but um, yeah I don't really mind using Rub Rub Rub, rub, rub on my face because it's not that bad anyway but yeah the first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that your hair is out of the way because otherwise it's just going to be annoying you for like the whole video so yeah, I'm just gonna push it out of the way. I had hairspray in my hair today, so it's kind of like sticky. Um, but yeah, it's just gonna end up being a mess if you don't have your hair out of your face because like the grains and stuff from like say the mask and Magna Minty, they're just gonna get stuck in your hair and that is not enjoyable, trust me. So the thing I start off with is the let the good times roll because that's a facial cleanser and you want to make sure that when you're doing like a skin care routine or something that you have okay before i move on i know that people are going to be commenting about my hair there's nothing that i can do about it if you think my hair is disgusting then you can leave or don't i don't care um but yeah basically you want to make sure that your face is clean before you start like trying to put face masks and stuff on because otherwise your face is just gonna get like you're basically just rubbing dirt into your face which is not a good idea so yeah basically you want to take a pea size amount which i always take a bit more because for me anyway a pea size amount doesn't work but basically this smells exactly like freshly baked cookies or something and it's just amazing i just want to eat it and um, yeah you want to add a bit of water into your you put it in the palm of your hand then add a bit of water to make it like into a paste and also so you can get more of a use out of it because unless you're rich, unlike me, then I don't have enough money to like buy loads of these so I try and ration it out of it. But yeah, you just want to apply it to your skin, like rub it on and there are also, there's also polenta in this which is really exfoliating and there's popcorn. I'm not exactly sure what the popcorn's for, but I think it is. Um, I think it is for exfoliating, and also just because it kind of smells like popcorn a bit. Um, they say that it smells like freshly popped popcorn, but I just think this smells like cookies, um, which is even better to me. But anyway, um, it smells amazing. That's all you need to know, and it also works a charm. It makes your skin really soft and really clean and fresh and nice and yeah like with most of these products i'm going to be using like they're good enough to like nearly just use them by themselves but if you want to do a proper routine to just make sure that your skin is like the best of health then i would recommend using them together because they work really well together and obviously it also depends on um what type of skin you have but this is what I use for myself anyway. Um, the main areas that you want to focus on in this video are wherever your spots come up or wherever like you have dry skin or whatever. So where I'm going to be doing is my chin, focusing on my chin because sometimes I get spots on my chin. Then um, the sides of my nose because um, yeah, you can get like dead skin near the sides of your nose and it's good to kind of exfoliate there and then also just like on my forehead mainly like where your nose comes to like like say where some people might have a uni brow <laughs> you want to get there because that's also 
a problem area for spots for most people and then go across above your eyebrows and then maybe at the sides of your head there I sometimes get some and then I'm just gonna rub everywhere with the palm of my hand just to make sure that I get everything and yeah then it is done you want to make sure that for this video like you guys aren't recording a video but if you are using any of these products you need a face cloth preferably that you don't want to get dirty this one is for the guest room so I shouldn't be getting it dirty but but no, I'll wash it. Um, yeah, so you wanna just rinse your face and then wash it off with the face cloth, with a face cloth, because otherwise you're never gonna get it off. And um, it would be good if you did this in the shower because then it's not messy. But it's too late for me to be going to the shower at the moment because it's now like nine o'clock and I wanna get to bed. Okay, so now that that's dried off, my skin already feels really soft because that did have a bit of polenta in it, which is like a good exfoliant, but um, I'm still gonna use some exfoliator just for this. And yeah, it's also just good to exfoliate your face, but not too much because otherwise you're gonna overdo it. So the thing that I'm gonna be using in the video is the rub 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 shower scrub, except I've actually made my own one as well. Um, Lush has a sugar scrub which is only three euro and what I've done is I've um, mashed it up because it comes in like a solid like semicircle. I mashed it up and then I added a bit of water and then loads of um, caster sugar and then I've mixed it together and then it basically makes like a different flavour or colour of the rub rub rub. So there it is but I'm not going to be using that for this video because I want to like use products that you guys can easily just walk into Lush, buy and then try it yourself because I'm a good citizen so we're using the rubber rub rub. I only have a sample of this at the moment but um, yeah, okay, um, a good idea for the rub rub rub, especially if you're using it on your face, is add a bit of water um, because it is a shower scrub which means it is that bit um, like tougher on your skin. Um, like because it's for your body so um, if you're using it for your face like me then I would recommend you add a bit of water just to kind of like make it less concentrated and less like sore in the skin this is also like um, shower gel based like the liquid that's what makes it liquid so um, it's also like very um, what is it what's the word it's very um, cleansing as well because it's like soapy but yeah you want to go everywhere really on your face mainly those areas I was saying like near your nose on your forehead or anywhere that you just have dead skin or I don't know anywhere that you just want to exfoliate really Um yeah I'm gonna do it on my forehead it's good for places that you have like spots but anyway, um, if I was to do this, like if you guys were going into the shop, I would recommend getting the Ocean Salt because that is actually for your face and it is a lot better, a much better choice. I just don't have it on hand today, so yeah, I'm just using this. But now I'm just going to rinse it off and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so this is my skin after. It's now really soft because that's like shower gel based, so it's like soft. <laughs> But yeah, also because I've taken away all the rough parts of my skin, so yeah, it's soft. But then to finish it off, I'm going to use the Mask of Mine and Minty. And then obviously I'll go over it with some moisture, face moisturiser after just to like give it some more, um, like because of all this, we've kind of like taken some of the moisture or like the natural oils out of our face. So I'm just going to put some moisturizer on just to make sure that everything is okay <sighs> um, but yeah the mask of mine and minty is extremely strong like with most of the face masks you leave them on for about like 10 minutes or something maybe more if you if you want to this one i don't think i could last for 10 minutes i literally like leave it on for maybe five minutes just until it dries and then i take it off straight away because it tingles like a bitch <laughs> um if you're putting it on like without doing like 
a skincare routine or whatever or like without washing your face first then it's a lot easier but now that like I've just after like exfoliating my face um it's a lot more tender and putting on like mask of manamenti after is a big risk because we're not a risk but it's like really hard because um it's so stingy like tingly but it does the job really well like at least when it tingles you know that it's doing something good so um yeah it's pain or skincare where skincare is pain pain is skincare it's already kind of drying like once it gets a bit darker then you know that it's drying so also with this you want to make sure that you apply generously to places that are your problem areas i know that i keep saying this in the video but it's the same with like all of the products that i've been using in this video so make sure that you get like the places like say the places that you don't really need to go for are like your cheeks or like your um like your lips or whatever but it's just more um your chin your nose and your forehead that you need to focus on oh this is singing so much um yeah i'm just gonna let this dry now um and then i'll get back to you in a second once it's dry okay so i'm back and it's dried now it's basically just got darker that's how you know it looks like i just put green goop on my face and um, where it's lighter there it hasn't dried properly yet but like the rest of my skin is dry it's just because that's where like i had more on but yeah it kind of like seeps into your skin and then pulls all the shit out of your skin so this is gonna be exciting and um, i'm just gonna wash it off now and then i'll show you in a second okay so here is my skin after um it feels really clean really like not too moist but like it feels clean anyway it doesn't feel like it's oily or anything it just feels like fresh and nice but it also feels really tender so that is why i'm gonna be using the moisturizer i forgot the name of this moisturizer because it was just a tester and it doesn't have it written on it she also didn't tell me what the name of it was not that i'm giving out to her but like i just didn't i wasn't told what the name of it was but there it is, it comes in one of those squirty things, um, I'll find out for you in my next video, or soon anyway, um, what the name of it is, but I'm not sure at the moment. Anyway, it's for dry skin, it's to hydrate skin, so it's good for after doing something like this because it just gives back to your skin, like, after you, like, like doing all that stuff to your skin, exfoliating, it's just a really good idea to re-moisturize it and give it all its oils back because we don't like stealing here in my channel. <laughs> um, yeah, so it feels a lot nicer once you moisturize it again because it's just softer and fresher and makes it feel more like a baby's bottom. You know oh okay so now I'm done it was it's not too hard not too pricey it's for your skin's health so you should not take that for granted and you should take care of your skin but yeah there it is my skin feels amazing right now and it always does when I do this and it looks pretty nice too so yeah I'm gonna leave this video there I definitely recommend using all those products um, they're all really really good and that's why I'm doing this video I'm not just doing it like for like I'm not just doing it for a video I'm just doing it because I want to share these products with you guys because I think they're really good and they make my skin amazing anyway and most of those products a lot of people use too so yeah go and try them definitely and yeah tell me if you try them if you like them comment down below if you like this video if you want more like routines i'll happily do that like a shower routine or something but anyway thanks for watching like if you like it subscribe if you want to dislike if you want to and um, but just comment i love your comments anyway Thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.